Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, to our Midland State University Google Classroom tutorials. Remember, our Google Classroom is turning the conventional physical classroom into a virtual classroom, which is more effective and efficient in collaboration between students and lecturers. So today I'm going to show you a video on how to create online self-grading quizzes, which can be used for administering in-class tests using multiple choice, drop-down menus, short answer question, etc., etc. For you to create an online quiz under the Classwork tab, we are going to create quiz assignment. You will be taken to our normal assignment creation page. This assignment creation page, make sure you insert the title for this assignment, which is in class test one, and also enable grade importing so that classroom can import grades for assignment into your Google Gradebook. And also, it also automatically limits each form to one response per student, and it's going to collect email address of all the students attempting this in class. So you are going to click on blank quiz so that you set your quiz. On this blank quiz, you are going to change the title to in class test. And we are going to set our first question, which is to identify a component. I'm going to upload an image either from files in my computer, from camera, from photos, from Google Drive, or from internet. I'm going to search for an image on the internet. After inserting the image, select whether the answer is going to be a short answer, a paragraph, or a multiple choice, etc. This is going to be a multiple choice question, and I'm going to set the answers for this multiple choice, the first answer. The second answer and the third possible answer. Remember to click on the required button so that the question is attempted by every student as a requirement. Click on answer key to set the points for this question and also to set the correct answer since it is a self grading in class test where the system is going to mark the assignments as soon as the students provide their assignments and click on done. After setting the quest first question, to add another question, you click on the add question button. Write the second question, which is identify this component. I'm going to provide the component upload from internet. This question is going to be a short answer question, so I'm going to provide the answer key to this question. So the possible answers which the students can provide, answer number one is monitor, answer number two is a screen, and the rest of the answers I'm going to mark all the answers as incorrect, and I'm going to set the points for this question to two, and when I'm done, I click on the done button. I'm also going to add the third question, which is to identify a memory component. This question is going to be a checkbox question, and I'm going to provide the answers. Option number one, I'm going to upload image from internet. After providing all the answers, I'm going to put the answer key, which is option number one, and I'm going to set the points to two points and click on done when I am done. One important thing to remember about this in-class test is that this in-class test is going to be written on the 18th of July from 10 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. So what I'm going to do is to publish this assignment for 10 a.m. and it will appear to all students' accounts. And at 
the assignment is going to disappear from the student's account. So what I'm going to do on this form, I'm going to set the time limit on which the form will disappear on the student's account. Select date and time. Select the date, which is 18th of July. The time is 10.30 a.m. This is the time I'm going to set so that the form will automatically close by 10.30 a.m. Save and enable and close. When I'm done with all the settings that I'm going to do on this form, I'm going to close this form and go back to the in-class assignment uh, creation page. Back to our assignment creation page, I'm going to set the points for this assignment, which is six, and I'm going to set this assignment to topic, which is chapter number one. I'm going to schedule this assignment so that it appears on students' accounts at 10 o'clock on the 18th of July at 10 a.m. and click on schedule. So what I have done is to create an assignment here which is scheduled for July 10 at 10 a.m. That's when the assignment is going to appear on the student's accounts and is going to be disabled at 10.30 so students can write between 10 and 10.30 a.m. on the 18th of July 2020. So in the student's profile, the assignment appears in class test one under chapter one introduction. The student is going to view the assignment, click on the quiz, and the student is going to answer the question. The first question is identify the component, which is uh, two points. The student is going to provide answer. The first answer is RAM. The second answer, the student says it's monitor. The third answer, the student select option two. And after finishing, the student is going to submit a copy. On submission of the copy, uh, the student can view the score after finishing the assignment and the score is four out of six. So the student will see which questions is they got correctly and which questions have they got it wrong. After students have completed the assignment, I'm going to go to the assignment. I'm going to view the assignment and see that two students have attempted the assignment. On our grade book, it shows that students have turned in their assignments, but there are no grades in our grade book because I haven't yet imported the grades from the assignment into the grade book. So I'm going to click on import grades. After importing the grades, the marks appear now in my grade book from the assignment. Thank you so much. That's how we administer online quizzes, which we can use as in-class for our modules. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Midland State University Information Technology Services, so that you will get notifications for all the upcoming videos that we are going to do for Google Classroom and everything else that pertains to our Information Technology Services Department. Thank you.